blue jeans and ones and a white tee. Oh six hanging out the window like yeah. High feet on one off a bottle might be my tree. Smoking Agent Orange high C back with me and Marty. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be completely different, different than anything I've done before. It's like a editing session watch while I'm kind of talking a little with voiceover. But anyways, I did a recent shoot and I was like, man, let me do a video as I'm kind of editing it as well as talking about a little photography hack that I love doing. So, this photography hack is um, a hack I use like whenever I'm shooting and it's basically going out and shooting when it's nasty out and I know that might sound absolutely crazy but going out and shooting when it's nasty out you literally get the best photos in my opinion a lot of people just go out when it's sunny that's when everybody goes out and shoots and everybody's photos look good they look the same but how do you get photos that are really different and unique well going out as you can see in this photo right here it's snowing and it looks nasty out but the photo looks insane and it's unique and it's not what you'd normally see on Instagram. So as I'm kind of talking a little more, I decided to go back and edit a few photos so you guys can like, see me edit and whatnot. Let me go create virtual copy and then I'm going to reset this image to the original. And you know, we're out here, we're freezing, it's, you know, the snow is on us, our hair is wet, our clothes are getting wet and it's just, it's just nasty out. But honestly, going out, whether it's raining, whether it's just cold, snowing, whether it's cloudy, going out and shooting, honestly, in that type of environment, which is different than what most photographers would go out and shoot, that's when you get the best, best photos, in my opinion. Really quick, let me just minimize this. Okay, so yeah. So I'm gonna go through, edit a few photos. You guys can kind of see how I edit. I think that'll be super, super cool. Um, maybe I could speed it up, or I don't know. I'll try to go kind of quick. Also, let me slide this over. Here's my Instagram. If you guys want to go check out my Instagram, I'd very much appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. Jamaican man 43. All right. So going on here, I'm going to, we did like three different outfits. So I'll edit one photo from every outfit. It was all the same day. As you can see, it was snowing. It was super cloudy out. We almost didn't shoot. We were just um, heading home from an event and me and my friend were like, man, you have some clothes in the car, I have my camera, let's just go out there and shoot. It's freezing cold, people are looking at us like, these people out here are crazy, it's snowing, it's wet, it's just so nasty. But we went out and did it. <laughs> the preset I'll be using, of course, is my favorite, or one of my favorite, it's called, or I have it saved on here as Killer Tones. I just, as you can see, my names are just AAA this, or that, random stuff. But on my website, it's called The Tones Preset. Pretty simple, and bam, I just throw that on there. And I mean, right away, I'm just loving it. Here's the final, final product I got in the very end. And here's what I'm starting with right away. I mean, from right off the bat, I am just loving the colors, loving the tones. I think I'm gonna make it a tiny bit warmer, kind of like that. And I honestly edited this photo a few days ago, so knowing exactly what I did, I don't remember. But you know, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna edit it from scratch all over. I always crop in a little, cause you know, Instagram and that. Bam, already I'm just loving the photo, like thrown on with my, one of my favorite presets that I created a while back and I have different variations of it, um, like a film version of it, just all types of different versions, but um, yeah, right away this preset does wonders. I love like the, it gives like a moody look, like a brownish moody look, and it also gives like a greenish hue vintage that I added in the split toning section, you know? And so really quick, I'm just moving, you know, like little unnecessary white lines, snow that's maybe in the wrong spots, um, little pimples and bumps along the face. I mean, right there, I am very, 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 very happy with the photo. And I literally did not do much work at all from beginning to end. Not much work before and after. Oh wait, that's not the actual before before because I copied it over from here. If I click this, I can. 
So originally that before, before photo, and then the after. As you can see, it kind of just gives the skin, along with a little bit of warmth I added, more of a orangey, warm look. Gives the black a different look. I mean, they're both black, but it gives it like a, I don't know how to explain it, a warmer black. You see there's some blues here, you have more warmth here. And uh, the background just goes a little more greenish, and I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And so, of course, if you want to head over to my website, which will be in the description, I have a few presets when you go to my shop page, and all my presets are literally like 50% off right now. And my tones preset is what I've been using for all of my photos before, I mean, after, before, after, before, before, after, before, after, insane, before, after. I love the tones preset. And yeah, okay, let's move that off the screen. So that was one photo, I kinda rushed through it, and yes, I do sometimes right click, edit in, hop into Photoshop, and do a little bit of like skin smoothing and whatnot, and that's how I, of course, get my final outcome. So where I'm at right now, and then after I go up and do a little tune-ups in Photoshop, it would kinda just change it to that. You can see the skin's a little smoother, and boom. But I'm not gonna take you through all the Photoshop work. I'm just kind of going through a quick edit, see what I, so you guys can see kind of what I do, what I don't do. All right, let's see what other photo I wanted from the shoot. Let's see another outfit change. Maybe I could do. Um, what about? Wait, let's scroll down here. Okay, yeah, I like this one. I like this one. So. Here's the finished product I got with this photo. Is it gonna finish loading? I love it, again, why this tip that I'm giving you guys shooting when it's literally ugly out. Everybody like, wow, it's nice and sunny, let's go shoot. Nothing wrong with that at all. But when it's literally so nasty out, and you're like, man, I just wanna stay inside. That is when you should be like, hey, get a friend, get a model, head out there and shoot because I mean, Snow is in her hair, we're freezing cold, but I mean, look how amazing the photos come out. And you can sit in the car, warm up, go out, shoot for like five minutes, hop back in a car, or go into a, you know, one of the buildings nearby, a coffee shop, warm up, and go back out, and you get amazing, amazing photos. So, all right, so here is the, let me create virtual copy, and then reset this image. So it's the original image. And as you can kind of see my settings, I guess up here, I shot at ISO 160. Since it's, even though it's like the middle of the day, it's, it was very cloudy out and you know, just raise the ISO just up with a little bit. I shot at 50 mil, 2.8, and you can see my shutter. And um, yeah, so right away, my tones preset, I throw it on everything. I love this preset. And I've been playing around with lots of uh, like different looks on my, if you can scroll down my Instagram, you know, I've played with different, different looks. I and mean, when I finally kind of put this one together, I I'm, I'm just fell in love with it. So anyways, threw this preset on. Um, let's do a tiny, tiny crop in there. Just center a little bit more. Zoom in here on the face. In this video today, I'm not doing like in-depth skin retouching, which I'd normally be doing like Photoshop. But I will show you like the end photo, of course, that I like post or put on my website. But that takes a little more time, and I don't want to bore you guys with that, you know. Maybe in another video, if you guys want to know more of the skin retouching and stuff that I do, drop a comment. I can do a separate video for that. <clears throat> But simply, what's this thing called? Spot removal. Yeah, I just use spot removal and remove everything. So yeah, very, very happy with how this is looking. A little bit more like here. And boom, I'd be very, very happy with that. Let's see if I brought this down a little bit. Bam, there you go. So then from here is when I would, of course, edit it out in Photoshop. 
I add a little bit of a layer over it, changing colors just a tiny, tiny bit, as well as now like really smoothing in, smoothing in the entire skin. And then here's where I'd eventually end up with like this photo. As you can see, like the skin is very retouched and smoothened and just fine tuned. But as you can see with this preset, I'm just so in love. There's not much that I have to do to these photos. And I'm just very happy with it. It took me a while to get this look that I really wanted and I'm very happy with it. That's why I'm literally just here making this video of me just kind of going over talking and editing. But again, look at how much snow is right here. I think I have another photo where you can really, really see how much snow. Am I able to find it? Will I find it? Right, I'm gonna give myself about 10 more seconds other than that, I am skipping it. Yes, I found it it. Okay. Loading. There you go. Look at how much snow. You know she was very cold. And, but I mean, look at how amazing this photo looks. Just simply amazing, amazing, amazing. Here's the final product after it's retouched. Here's before I put it into Photoshop. If it would load, right there. And you see it's not as skin retouch. Again, going back to skin retouched in Photoshop. There you go, you kind of see a little bit of difference. And then the before and after. Again, making those skin tones warmer, deeper blacks, giving it a little more of a greenish, vintage-y look in the background. And yeah, really liking it, really liking it. Okay, going back. Okay, so now that was another photo I did. Let me um, go back and find another photo that I would like to edit. Okay, the third outfit. Uh, even though we shot this outfit first, so it was our first outfit, but the third outfit I'm gonna edit for you guys here. One of my favorite photos, actually. Let me see, where can I find it? I actually posted this one here on my Instagram. Boom, shout out myself on the Instagram. Guys, Jamaican Man 43 go follow. Go follow. Where was it, I posted it. Yeah, right here, one of my favorite photos. No, right, yeah, right here, this photo. Posted that, so guys, go and check out the Instagram. So here's a finished product. Love it, love it, love it. If I go back before I edit in Photoshop, as you can see, just like a little bit of stuff on her clothing, a little bit of like snow here, and a little bit of ironing I did on her clothing. You see right here, I just did that little bit in Photoshop. But all of the colors are mainly done here in Lightroom, as you can see the before and after right here. And yeah, let's create virtual copy. And I'm gonna reset all the settings. So here's the original photo I took. Let me see what my settings are. I saw 200 here. I think she was walking. So I up the shutter a little up the ISO. Now we're at 53 millimeters. Not much of a difference. I'm shooting around the 50 range. I was using a zoom lens. So I had the range of 24 to 70, literally all at 2.8 Canon lens. Um, and I shoot on the, I shot this one on the EOS R. So again, you guys can kind of see my settings here. Again, I'm throwing on my tones preset. I mean, look at that. Along with some lens correction and boom, I love it. I uh, wasn't paying too much attention on the sensorization, I guess, during this photo. So we're just gonna fix that a little right here. Boom, she's a little more centered. I don't even think, yeah, I didn't even 100% nail the focus in this photo, but I just loved it anyways. So let's see here. I'm gonna get the warmth and contrast just a tiny bit up. Darken it a little and make it a little more moody. Yeah, I kind of like it right about there. I love it, love it. Getting your settings and composition, everything right in camera when you're shooting, such a huge help. Such a, such a huge help. And bam, I'm very, very happy with this. I'll basically take this into Photoshop and fix it up and do all my final editing, save it back into Lightroom, sync it back to my Lightroom mobile on my phone, and I'd have it there to post on Instagram. So yeah, there you guys go. Three different photos from the shoot that I run along and edit it after I of course put this photo in Photoshop it kind of looked like this a little more smoothened out I guess I kind of uh, cropped it a little differently originally but 
there you go. I was very, very happy with this photo, even though it wasn't the most in focus. I mean, it turned out so, so amazing. I loved it. And let me see if I, while well, I'm here one time, I'll show you guys some other photos I edited from this set. Boom. I love this photo. If I go to the non, so you can look at her pants right here. And then when I went to Photoshop and like kind of smoothened everything out, boom, it went to that as well as the skin. Non-retouched, retouched. And then, what are other photos like this one? I love. There's a bunch of them, I think I posted these. But yeah guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it's not too long. I just wanna to talk to you guys about one of my uh, favorite tips to like shooting and getting kind of content that's a little bit different, a little bit more unique, a little photography hack, a little trick, even though it's just going outside when you'd rather be inside, you know? But um, yeah guys, there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys wanna see more behind the scenes kind of editing. Um, I thought why not I'll just go back and re-edit a few of these for you guys. Um, show you guys maybe what preset I'm working with. Again, these, this preset as well as my other ones are 50% off on my website. So that will be in the description if you guys want to go check that out. Sometimes you don't want to put, sometimes you, people don't like editing. You don't like that. You love going out and taking photos, but you don't really like the editing. I have a couple presets that are available. And yeah, oh, check out this one. I love this one. Love, love, love this one. One of my favorite photos. I don't think I posted this one yet, but. I still might. Before it was retouched in Photoshop and then before and after. Again, makes makes the black look like a different type of a black. Gives your skin a more real warm look as well as makes everything in the background, you know, it's a little more vintage and moody. Gives like a professional, more wedding type of a look. I love it, I love it. Hopefully you guys love it as well. Again, that after photo in Photoshop right there. What are my settings for this? 250? Yeah. So there you guys go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And see you guys in the next video. See ya.